let's talk, talk about the SharePoint 2013 technology stack. So if you take a look here at the picture there, we've got SharePoint 2013, SharePoint Server 2013, okay? Um, and we've got SharePoint Foundation 2013. If you're not familiar with the difference, I know, Jim, that you had said that y'all are using SharePoint Foundation. SharePoint Foundation is free, okay? And it implements a lot of the functionality of SharePoint. But there's SharePoint Server, which has all the functionality out there. And then there's Standard Edition, there's Enterprise Edition, so there's different licensing and things like that. So, like I said, I usually talk to your Microsoft rep about your licensing. They'll, they'll help you. I mean, they will try to give you the best deal. That's the per best person to ask about that. Now, there is the Workflow Manager 1.0. That is the, if you look there, next to the last paragraph on page 1-6, talks about the Workflow Manager. It's now external to the SharePoint logical architecture. SharePoint workflows now run on an independent workflow management infrastructure. So, you know, again, we're trying to see that Hmm, it may not be super beneficial to have everything running under one object model, and that way if we need to separate permissions or if we need to have it running on a separate machine, maybe we would want to do that. So that's why usually they'll separate that out. Also, the Office Web Apps Server 2013. See, in SharePoint 2010, the Office Web Apps actually ran as a separate service, but in 2013, it's actually a separate server product that has to run on separate hardware. So it's kind of surprising, really, that it's not just a service running in 2010 like it was, but if you want to scale your Office Web App server out, you can do that without having to necessarily go into the SharePoint site all the time and have them be involved. I would see that possibly as being something they might do for reporting services at some point, because I always explain to my BI people that if you're using reporting services in SharePoint integrated mode, now your SharePoint administrator has got to understand reporting services too because they're the one that's actually going and administering it. So you can imagine some of that, some of those services, it may not really fall under the SharePoint administrator to be the Office Web Apps administrator too. So I think that's really why they're going with that. So you can see there, um, notice that we've got Windows Server, obviously the cloud services that run out there. We're using .NET Framework 4.5. We're using IIS 8 and ASP.NET 4.0. Okay. That's the technology stack, and you can see there. It requires IIS, it requires ASP.NET 4, and, and then depending on you know what you're going to be implementing, there's different services that you're going to want to implement as well.